Hey guys, welcome to another Maison Molly Live. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be reviewing the final Reviving Origins pods because, quite frankly, getting a little bit tired of them, but that's what we're going to be doing today. Hi, Holly. Welcome to the party. Oh, look, my mom's here. Welcome, and Janice. Pleasure to see everybody. Sorry that I was a little late. For some reason, I couldn't figure out how to do live today. I don't know. It's Sunday, and I'm a little tired, but we make it work. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I miss you so much, Ash. How have you been? How is life in Denmark? <laughs> Hi, D from India. It's a pleasure to have you guys all here with me today. So today, as you guys can know over on YouTube, I have been re I have been reviewing and taste testing the Reviving Origins capsule. So, so far, we have done Zimbabwe, Congo, and Uganda. Um, the last one that I have to do is actually right there. It is Colombia. Um, I don't think that people are really that interested in these videos, maybe because, I don't know, like, they launch every year, so maybe you guys already know everything about it, but they haven't been performing beautifully, so I figured I would just do this last one as a live and get it over with. Um, Ashley says, I miss you, and Ayrton needs to come to Legoland, Denmark. Word! 2022 is my travel year. I'm not going to anybody's houses, so maybe I'll see you in 2022, Ash. <laughs> uh, the Lady D.Y. says, hi from Oregon. Hello! Um, hi, Sonique. How are you doing, girlfriend? Yes, because they're not new. Nobody cares about my videos. Y'all could at least watch. Like, I have different perspective, right? Um, but anyways, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, before we get into that, I took a few notes because sometimes I just be going off on tangents. Um few operational things if you guys aren't subscribed to my youtube channel because we're just friends here on instagram go subscribe the link is in my bio i'm like almost at 8,000 subscribers and i'm hoping to get to 10,000 for my birthday which is september 10th so it's a free birthday present if you guys aren't subscribed go subscribe there um in addition to that thank you guys always for watching over there if you do and for watching the ads because the ads are important if you watch them um it definitely helps me grow my channel a lot so that's how i'm able to get like lighting for my channel and the new camera that i got and honestly buying all these espresso things aren't cheap right so it definitely funds me buying stuff and reviewing it for you guys so watch the ads subscribe to my channel and over here on Instagram, if you like a reel, you like something that I do, you know, give it a like, give it a comment. It helps to push my content out there even more and get more people loving it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop on into these pods because I actually have not had a cup of coffee for today and I have been craving one. So we're going to go ahead and make Columbia Virtual hot. Let's see if I missed anything. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. My mom's being nosy. She's like, who is Ashley? Um, Ashley is my friend from LV. We work together. She is amazing. Um, she moved to Denmark, which is great. LV is great for that kind of thing. You can like move around and she now lives in Denmark and we miss her so much. I miss her. She's amazing. So can't wait to see her again soon. My mom needed to know who you were at Ash. Um, the best part of the Nespresso videos is um, you do a original line and virtual line both. Thank you. Yeah, I want to get into the habit of doing that because I know maybe like 80% of the people are subscribed for um, original, or, sorry, are subscribed for Virtuo, but I do have to stay true to myself. Like I like both lines, so I'm going to continue to show both lines. And I know there are people who have definitely been inspired to get original line machine because they see me doing original line content. So um, that is pretty exciting. But um, let's just go ahead. I'm reading the comments. Let's just go ahead and hop right on into it um ireland is in a heat wave it's a little hot here today too but i don't care i'm still gonna have my warm coffee um so these are the capsules guys this is what they look like I haven't opened them yet do, 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 do. um this is reviving origin for tuo for colombia um esperanza de colombia and then this is going to be the original line one um what does espresso have to say about them i think i'm really gonna like this one because it boasts to have fruity sweet and cereal notes so fruity and sweet profile and yellow fruit cereal notes so that should be pretty yummy um yeah let's just get right into it since we've only got half hour or so so 
I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll do that corny thing that I do now where I take a picture um, before I open it and you guys laugh at me because I'm just standing there still. Um, but I need a picture for the thumbnail. So you guys ready? Here we go. I'm really good at staying still, right? <laughs> but yeah, let's open this box on up. There we go, guys. It looks like all of the other capsules. This one's nice. Oh, it matches my dress. I didn't intentionally do that, but um, this one is really pretty as all the other ones. Columbia is a 7.7 .7 ounce, so that's really cool. Everybody's laughing. You guys are so laughing at me because I do that, but you know, I gotta do it. I gotta do it for the thumbnail of the video. Um, let's see. My mom says that she likes my hair. Thanks, girl. It took like five hours and overnight to wash it. I'm kind of hot. Let's see. Am I missing anything? Yeah. So I'm going to brew this one. I'm going to taste it. And then because it says that it has yellow fruit and it's sweet cereal, I'm actually going to use. Hold on. I'm actually going to use my milk street sugar with it um, because it is orange, yellow fruit, and it's sweet vanilla. So I think that they should pair nicely together. What do you think, Sonny? Do you think this would be a good pairing? Let me know. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna taste it, make a drink, drink it, and then we're gonna move on to original, okay? Do you guys have any questions for me today? How is everybody doing? Are you guys enjoying your Sunday? Let's see. All right, so let's see if I can tilt a little bit over for you guys so you can see what's happening over there. I've already got everything laid out. There we go, put that there. I'm going to be using this cool mug. It says, I really need a day between Saturday and Sunday. Who else can agree on that? Um, so we're going to, and it says truth on the inside. Um, good making Uganda on ice right now. Yeah, I had Uganda on ice yesterday and it was really, really good for the video. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, put this here. Hold on, Ayrton. Not right now. I'm going to put a tablespoon of the sugar into my cup. So we're using the burnt sugar orange spice coffee sugar by Milk Street. Just because I feel like if I do this, then it melts nicely together with the coffee. Put that on there. Hold on, guys. back so I am going to use this though just so I can get a little bit of it to taste just to see what it tastes like without the sugar so let's get brewing probably gonna make a mess as usual There we go. All right. Let's let it settle. Gross. <laughs> Agreed. It's already Monday in India. Oh my gosh, you're right. Um, oh, my friend says I have the same mug. Where did you get it? Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's taste this. Interesting. It's actually pretty sour. Very sour. There's no bitterness to it. Just kind of like sour fruity notes. So I guess that kind of speaks to the orange fruit of it. Would not drink that on its own. Um, yeah, we're brewing it on up. Oh, she says she got it from Target. Maybe that's where I got it from. Um, what is your name, friend? That you have the same mug as I do because um, I don't like to be like she like what's your name um, yes you got it from Target maybe that's where I got it from a long time ago I just saw it in my cupboard hi you look so pretty what did I miss um, full disclosure it's a filter um, but 
what did you miss oh we're just doing the taste test for the esperanza de colombia um because i'm not going to be making a video of that I've, i'm done with this reviving origins line hey jen all righty so we've got our cup we're gonna mix the sugar on in i should be actually just warming my milk i'm gonna use the oatly milk for this one Sonic says you should always shake it. If you guys um, are into coffee and food content, go check out Sonique's page because um, she's really knowledgeable. Even I get a lot of advice from her. She's really smart and um, her content's pretty cool. So check it out. Alrighty, so I put four ounce of um, Oatly in there just stirring my sugar in and then we're gonna add the milk to it and then that's gonna be it and then for my iced latte we're gonna use my favorite milk we're gonna use a2 I mostly don't like my lattes with like alternative milks like oat milk or soy I just like it with 2% um, so that's what I'll be doing any questions Hi Tiff, how have you been girlfriend? <laughs> Sonic said, I heard my name, I stepped away. No, I was just telling them that if they are interested in food and coffee content, they should follow you as well because you're really knowledgeable and I learn a lot from you. It's still foaming as you guys can see. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. I don't think I missed anything. I wanted to make sure I took some notes today so I didn't forget anything. I'm going to taste this just with the sugar and see what I think. Ooh, guys. I actually would drink this without milk. With just the sugar, it's really good. Ooh. If you ever want... I mean, I guess it's not black because I added sugar, but just the sugar this milk street burnt sugar orange spice just this and the black coffee together amazing like you don't even need to add milk and i never say that <sighs> really good hey keela girl how are you doing keela's my fellow owl from temple u how are things in philadelphia today all right let's go ahead and add some oat milk give it a little stir you're not late crystal well you are but it's all good girl um you can rewatch it and we are just making um we're just reviewing the Colum oh, capsules everywhere the columbia reviving origins capsule so far i'm really liking it Hey Alice, how's it going? What are you doing? You want to be in my video? Yeah, on your live. On my live? Yeah. All right, come say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's it? Don't be shy. You don't have a shy mom and you're not a shy guy. I'm not shy. You're not shy? Okay, so what do you say? Well, hi. Hi, my name is Ayrton and I'm finally back in her live with my mom and we're having a really awesome time with each other as always right say hi to everybody hi i guess you already did that anything else you want to say that's it see ya you no know super air Ten squad and make sure um you watch the bear Ten squad daddy and i have made videos for ourselves and our adventures so make sure you go watch that yeah he has a youtube channel it's called super air Ten squad um miss alice says um she left you a message Ayrton. i feel like i just saw her say something miss alice said that your mom is the best mom you have the best mom do you remember miss alice yes i know okay are you gonna ask her any questions miss alice miss alice thank you so much she is actually the best oh that's very sweet and tell her you hope she feels better 
Oh, I hope you feel better. <laughs> all right, well, we gotta wrap this up because we can't keep them here all day. So tell them bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right, guys. So, um, yeah. Um, things were great until I locked myself out of my house. This time out to hang out with you is exactly what I need while I wait for family to come let me back in. <laughs> oh, that's happened to me a time or two. So, sorry to hear that. Um, I will say with the milk, of course, the Columbia pod is pretty delish, but guess what? I kind of liked it just with the sugar and the black coffee on its own. One thing I've noticed about these reviving origin pods, they're not strong at all, which is fine. Um, so they don't always hold up really well to milk. Um, and I think that Columbia is definitely that as well. Like it tastes good, I do like it, but it's not as creamy as some other pods are like Malazio um, that hold up better to milk, you know what I mean? Or like Intenso. Um, but I did prefer this one without the milk. I do like it with the milk. I'll still drink it this way. Yeah, pretty good. I like it. The sugar is a hit. Um, let's see. Do we miss anything else? Uh, my friends, I get into these twists and red lips. Yeah, when I don't want to put heat on my hair, so I don't always like to blow dry it, guys, because... A lot of heat is not good for black hair. Um, so I try, I have coffee on my hand. I try to just let it air dry and twist like these and it's just a lot healthier for my hair. Someone says that they love my mug. Yes, I have to use it today since it's the weekend and tomorrow is Monday. But as you guys know, I love Monday, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, and then yeah. A few people asked my lipstick. It's just a four brand. It's like $15 and I swear by it. It's like the best lipstick ever. I do have a video on YouTube from holiday season with like my top five red lipsticks or holiday lipsticks. And this was one of them. Let's move it along. Go ahead and make our original line pod. Crystal says that she tried Uganda with Monin's rose syrup and it was so good. Yeah, Uganda with floral syrups tastes pretty delish. All right, let's move into original. Original is pretty much the same when I wrote it down. So same profile, um, sweet and fruity. Notes are the same, yellow fruit and cereal. So I presume I will like it the same. The box is out. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just going to make an easy latte with it. Um, I really want to finish this cup of coffee, but you guys don't have all day. It's okay. I do it for the culture. My cousin is here. What's up, Danny? How you doing? <laughs> uh, let's see. Greetings. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead. Oh, hi, Alex. Alex is here. You guys know Alex. My son is being so nosy. Um, and I know you guys love her YouTube channel as well. She's amazing. Let's um, do this one. So I'm going to pop it open because we only have about 10 more minutes. I think for this one, I'm going to do two just because it's been proven so far that these are pretty light and refreshing overall as a line. So if I brew two of them, I can make an ice latte and that will be great. As I mentioned for this one, I am going to use A2 milk because I prefer 2% in my ice lattes. And um, as far as syrups go, I wish that I had more of like a fruity syrup to try with this one. We'll figure it out. We'll see. These are often even great without syrup. So we'll see what I end up doing. Let's see if I'm missing anything. That's the hardest part, keeping up with these comments. <laughs> um, Alex, yeah, thank you for joining. Alrighty, so let's sip again. <laughs> Let's get this going. So I'm probably gonna tilt a little bit because you know I'm doing this for my phone. And my original line machine is all the way over there. You guys can see it, right? Um, so let's brew these. Alrighty. 
have a cup waiting. There we go. So it's blinking. Once it stops blinking, it'll be ready. You guys know I got this machine from William and Sonoma. I didn't want to like splurge and get an expensive original original line machine because I didn't know if I would like it. Um, and I got this one and I love it. I love the pot. So I'm actually debating on what machine should I get next? I really, really want to get a Creatista. I've told you guys before, and it's like 700 bucks, but my birthday, my birthday is in September. So I feel as though I can justify it. But then I was also thinking about getting another machine that Sonic suggested. So we will see where I land on that but this machine is really great it's a good starter machine and i would suggest it to anyone because it was like 40 bucks so if you aren't sure that you're gonna like the original line and you just want to try it if they're still available which i think they're not right now i would suggest getting that one Alrighty, so looks like it's ready let's put these in It's a little loud, but it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Am I missing anything? The lady DY says to drink my coffee. I don't know what's going on with it. It's not working today. Great. <laughs> Let's see. Just seeing if I missed any... Um, comments oh sherwin hey sherwin my cousins are on here and my cousin danny and sherwin are both here so hey sherwin how are you doing i didn't know that you were here um let's see do, 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 do. that's why it didn't work there's no water in there you just can't make this stuff up that's why lives are so interesting because there's like it's like YouTube, you edit a video, right? You can edit out everything. You can't edit out things on live, but you guys are family, so it's all good. Um, we're gonna add some water. Let's see. I'm like, why isn't it working? It always works. It's a really good machine. Let's try that again. We've got our water now. Round two. When making iced coffee, what double shot is best to add in? Um, do you mean like if you're making a 7.7 .7 ounce and you want to add a double shot in? Or are you just saying like if you're making a latte, which pot is best for that? Because I mean, it's just personal preference. You know, if you prefer something stronger, maybe like double espresso Chiaro. But if lighter, maybe, maybe I would say... Um, Bianca Legere or Peru if you want to add to your coffee because I see people do that like they'll have a 7.7 .7, but they want more of a cake so they'll add an espresso pot and I definitely would say like Diavoletto just because it's a nice strong punch um let's see um I keep forgetting about the sleeve of Ice Legera that I have never used is good but it's not like one of my faves I don't know what's going on over there but hopefully we'll figure it out before I finish this or before this live ends in like four minutes it never does this hmm um, what are we making? We're just reviewing the Columbia pods, guys. See how we like it. Uh, Callie Patty, Sonique has a question for, for you. She says like a red eye coffee. She has all the technical names. What's a red eye coffee, Sonique? Let us know. Uh, 
it's still blinking. I don't know what's going on. Malfunction. <sighs> what you gonna do? Let's see. If I don't get to make this on the live, then I'll figure out what's going on with the machine and I'll taste test it for you guys in like a Instagram video, whatever the other one is called. <laughs> No, it's still blinking. Let's see. So very strange. This has never happened before. This machine has never let me down, um, but it's like blinking the whole time. Usually the light goes steady. I used it yesterday. Now I'm super hot. Sonny says you need to pick me up like coming off a red eye flight. Oh, when you need to pick me up like coming off a red eye flight. I do that to pause like Malazio, Ethiopia, for example. Okay, so kind of like what I said, when you have like a cup of coffee and you add a shot to it. You would need to open and close the machine again. I did. I opened and closed it, but it's like not working. I don't want to waste my pod. We're going to try it one more time. And if it doesn't work, then we're just going to not do original today. Uh, let's see. I did open it, Sonny, but thanks for your tips. You guys see what I mean? Go follow her. She's got all the great tips. Um, let's see. Yes, you can add a shot to the stoke, but I don't think Molly does that. No, I don't add um, shots to my stoke. I like it just the way it is. I just like it with that and some sweet cream, and it's like ultra delish. Seems we will be able to try this on out today. We're gonna keep it super simple. Um, let me grab some ice. Alrighty, so I've got my ice. Um, I said we're gonna use my A2 milk, so let's do that. Give it a shake. Just gonna average it. It's about six ounces. Yeah, six ounces of milk. My son's in the background. Um, I did fish the pods out. I was not gonna not use it. One of them didn't even have holes in it, so it was perfect. Um, let's see. Right now I'm having a cup of Malazio with heavy cream and caramel pecan skinny syrup. Wow, that sounds like a vibe. You gotta tag me so I can see and share it with everyone. Okay. Judge me not, I'm actually gonna taste this from this really quick and see what I think. Hmm. Not as strong as a taste as Virtuo, interesting enough but still kind of sour and you can taste the fruity notes on it. Let's pour all that in. Do, 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 do. Give it a mix up. I've really been enjoying all of these reviving origins without syrups. Um, you definitely can just have them on their own. And then of course you can add syrup to it. What's wrong, Yerton? Yeah, I don't know why they're screaming outside. But let's see. All my cousins are here. Hey, CJ. All my cousins are on here. How's yeah. the fam? How do you want to have so many cousins? 
my son says how in the world do i have so many cousins let's start by saying guys if you didn't know this you, you probably don't my grandmother on my mom's side she had 15 kids so nine daughters and six sons and everyone has five or four kids my mom and my aunt are the only one who have one child so i have I've counted, I have about 70 or 80 like first cousins and like second cousins, like all of us who have kids, it's, it's a lot. So yes, a very big family. I don't really like this one as much. I think I definitely like the Vertuo. I think that the um, original line gets lost in the milk. It's just really milky, but again, it's really light and refreshing. so that's good i feel like i wouldn't want to add any syrup to this just because it's already really light and then if you add a syrup then it's just kind of like sweet milk you know what i mean like i feel like the purpose of syrup for me is to cut through the coffee and not make it as bitter but the coffee is already really light so there really is no need for me to add the syrup hey miss kiva how are you today but yeah guys i think that's it um did i miss any questions <clears throat> i don't think so yes shimmer girl i definitely took the pods out and added it back in because we can't be wasting pods like that but yeah i think that's it we've been on here for a minute um this is refreshing i'm definitely gonna drink it and i almost finished my hot one <laughs> who am i <laughs> um hi mr keith how are you so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it was fun reviewing uh, Columbia with you guys. Would I repurchase it? Let's see. Original line, probably not. Virtuo, definitely. I really like the Virtuo one. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, go ahead and scoop you up a box. It's really nice. And it paired so nicely with that um, Milk Street, this Milk Street burnt sugar orange spice. So I would suggest them together. And yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you always for hanging out with me. Um, nothing else to share. Make sure, like I said before, if we're friends on here, but not friends on YouTube, go subscribe there. I'd love to see y'all there as well. And that is it. I'm sure I'll see you guys in a minute after I log off. So I will see you guys next time. <laughs>